All right, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the temporary table. All right, so what is a temporary table? Well, it's a table that persists for the life of the session. All right, if you're new to SQL Server, that may sound like uh, Greek. All right, so what is it? So over here, we've got normal real tables, right? These tables will be here. They will persist when I close this down. Matter of fact, I can turn off this laptop walk away, boot it back up, and when I start SQL Server again and connect to this specific instance, they're still going to be here. These tables are called temporary tables and they only persist through the life of the session. So here is the syntax for creating a real table, right? Boink. That's pretty easy create table the name of the table the 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 columns and uh, we define their data types right on primary on the uh, what file group we're giving it to all right so how do we create an, a table the same way well okay sir so normal table we re refresh right and look there you go normal tables there and it will be there now the temporary table will not by, by the way you create a uh, temporary table the exact same way uh, the same syntactically the same as you do a normal table all right except we put him in front all right so here we go let's move forward give me select the name and the group name into all right we're doing a select into here into this temporary table from human resources department all right so we do this and that's good and you're thinking well okay now if I select this will this temporary table will I get results back yes you will yeah and why will you get results back because it persists through the session and you're thinking okay what if I take this what am I getting back here it's already telling you you need to get shit why? Because this is a new session. All right. It does not persist. No, I don't want to save it. So, what are some things? Let's actually, let's actually comment him out for a second. And now, uh, let's see. I want to create. Let's drop him first, right? Because he's still. We've got our session open. All right. So I can't do another select into. Or what will happen? He's already there. You got to drop him. So we drop table. Now I want to do this all in one shot, right? I want to create this select into. I want to uh, select, and I'm going to put it into my temporary table, and I want to do a select. Can I do that? Boink. Sure can. Not only that, right? Because we're still within the session, and we have no other code to. to delineate our boundaries here uh, what else can we do well let's drop it again let's drop it now look what we can do we can run the whole thing at one time it does takes the data give me the data jam it into our temp table right select it from the temp table and drop the temp table and you're thinking huh? well there we go put it in there now is a temp table there what do you think no, you dropped it, right? And you'll find that's what you have to do often when you're writing uh, temporary tables inside of things like stored procedures, right? You're going to have to create, uh, do your work, and then at the very end, drop them, all right? Because they persist to the life of the session. All right, so the cool thing, let's take a one more quick thought. The cool thing about um, temporary tables is you create the structures just like you do regular tables and that means that we can create indexes on the tables which is absolutely fantastic right you're thinking mm, how do I know that's any different from what you just did earlier how can I tell that the that it was created well because if we look at the the select statement we'll see that we have an index scan and we're not going to talk about the operators here or the iterators here we're talking about the table if we look here 
what did where where it did department it did an index scan on non cluster index on temp table all right and look on what's the name of our index there you go all right pretty cool stuff uh, if you're uh, you write serious code or you're going to be a developer or even if you are you know even if you're not if you're going to be a DBA uh, the temporary table is a very useful uh, object and it's one you should use a lot just keep in mind that it only persists the life of the session all right and it can only be used here all right can't be used here all right it's not there it's only on the life of the session all right, and um, the creation of it is done uh, very similarly to creating a normal table. All right, and you'll find as you're creating some of these structures, you'll find uh, once you create your four, a few stored procs um, with temporary tables, the nuances will work themselves out what you can and can't do. But this right here is a very good introduction of the temporary table and how to use it to. Um, bring back uh, what you want.